Welcome everyone to part 20 of the web development in Python with Django. First of all, I wasn't planning to make this tour at first, but I got a request to cover a topic on implementing account authentication with third-party pages. So this will be a simple tutorial to explore Google authentication integration with Django. First, what is OAuth? That's an open authorization service that allows websites or applications to share user information with other websites without being given a user's password. Users can log in to multiple websites with the same account without creating other credentials. There are plenty of these authentication service providers that full list you can find on the video link description. The most popular are Google, Facebook, Twitter, and GitHub. In this tutorial, I'll cover only the Google provide, because this video would be really too long to cover all of them. One of them, it's pretty simple and similar to adding more of them. You'll see that if you add Google, it's pretty straightforward to add GitHub or Twitter. In this tutorial, I'll continue working on my previous tutorial, where I show you how to migrate SQLite to PostgreSQL database. But there shouldn't be any problems if you create a Django project from scratch just to try it out. So here is my website, it's already running and you can see right now I can simply log in to my website. So let's go and log in to my test user where I'll authenticate myself with reCAPTCHA. Okay, let's open the code, I already have it created. So first of all, we need to do a lot of things here in settings, but before that we need to install this Django package. So it calls pip install Django all authentication. And I'll add this package to requirements so in the future I won't forget to do this. Cool, thank you. Next, we need to modify our project settings.py file. So let's navigate to the settings. I can close the requirements here. So uh, somewhere here I scroll down and here is already a lot of installed applications. So I'll need to add several new related to this new package. So these four are related to Google All Authentication application and this one is Django Contrib Sites. This must be added also. I can move it up to these default installed applications, but for now I'll leave it here. So next I need to define my site ID and it will be equal as one. So then second, I need to uh, add a social account login on get. So this means we'll skip one page when authenticating on Google. Okay, next I need to uh, append authentication backends. So I scroll somewhere back where I have my backends. Uh, where I have it, authentication back. Here it is. Right now I use a custom backend, but it doesn't matter if you use a default one, you simply can skip this. So just append a new one of all auth account, auth backends, and authentication backends. And so this will enable this Google authentication. And another step that what we need to do is add the social account providers. With this uh, simple function, we'll enable scope to receive users email address after successful social login. And that's it with the settings. Of course, you might add login redirect URL or lo login lo logout URL if you're creating this project from scratch, but in this kind of tutorial, I'm handling this uh, login redirects differently. So I, it's not necessary, at least for me. So I'll remove this, but if you, as I said, if you're trying this from scratch, you can add this. Great, now your intuition can tell, we will add a button in our login template. So the user could choose with a type in his login details or log in by using Google. So I navigate back to my templates of the users. I have templates here, users, and here is a login template. So first I need to add a social account. So here is at the beginning here, we must add it. Whether you add this in a register, sign up, or login page, you must add this line. And then I need to add a button. So I'll add this button just after my submit button. 
if I log out and I go to login, uh, I'm interested to add here additional button. So uh, I press enter here, I copy the button code. It's pretty simple HTML code with a little CSS to make it more beautiful. So I save it and we'll see how it looks like. Okay, right now I can run my server or it's even running. It's even running, that's cool. And if I go back here, I hit refresh. Okay, uh, I see I haven't saved my settings. I save it, it should refresh. Oh, no, 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 I'm wrong. I need to make a migrations. Okay, uh, I'll open a new terminal and I type Python manage pi make migrations. No change detected, but if I'll type a migrate, it will migrate a lot of things for us, as you can see. Cool, it worked. And right now I can refresh the server and it should work. Oh, one more thing. It, it's That's right, it's not working, but this is only because we need to add the URL. So I go back to my main page URLs and here just after this tiny MC, I add a this additional import. So I import all auth URLs. So this is what I was telling, but either the migrations should have been done anyway. So let's go here, re refresh. And as you can see here appeared a new beautiful button that we can click to log in with Google. In the simple way you will do with a GitHub, Twitter or whatsoever, it's up to you how you style it. And if I click it, it will not work for me yet. But you can see it uh, links us to Google, login and next. So cool. Now we need to create the AP Google's API for us. So I'll post this another link in my video description, but if I open, you're definitely gonna open this page where you can see I have this my, with my own uh, Gmail. So I create a new project and I'll call it Django Tutorial. And there is no organization. I click create. Now I go to my OAuth consent screen somewhere here. And I need to choose whether internal or external, but it doesn't allow me to choose internal. So I choose external here and here I need to define my application. So here uh, I'll simply type a uh, Django tutorial. Here will be my email and I'll copy. I'll write the same email here. And it's not necessary to fill other details right now because it's only a test tutorial to show you how everything works. So if you're creating this for your real website, I recommend to take, take a note and read all the details and fill it correctly. So I click save and continue. Let's wait again for it to create. No restrictions, save and continue, scope, save and continue, summary, back to dashboard. That's right. Cool. And I go to my credentials and I need to create a credential. So I click here and I click authentication client ID. I click on it and here I choose web application. Web name will, will be a Django tutorial. And here I'll need to add the authorized redirect URLs. And this one add your UI. So this will be a little different. I copy this one because as you can see, it links us to here, our code. So I copy this one and paste it here. And here I st still need to in here. If you're doing this on not local host, but you're trying this on your real domain in here, it should link to your real domain. But for now, I'm doing this in local and probably whoever would try to implement this authentication stuff, they will try to do it exactly the same. So I click create. And now I need to save this, your client ID and credentials. So I, for now, save it on another page. Copy it, copy it. That's cool. I click OK and it's prepared for us. And keep remember, we have copied these credentials. So right now I go back to my Google accounts and here I 
I need to log in to my admin user. Right now it's test and test. I confirm this capture and I log in. I go to my admin site and here is a site. I open these sites and here's the example.com by default creator. But this should, shouldn't be example. It should be a domain name. So right now I'm do, doing this on localhost. So uh, I'm leaving it like this. But otherwise you should type here your real domain. I click save and that's it. Now I go to my social applications link. And here I need to create a new social application. I click add user and here I choose Google. Here will be my uh, Django tutorial. And now we go to our copy details. First, this one, not to mismatch. Let's take a look. Client ID. Great. So here is my client ID and other is my secret key. Secret key, I copy it here. I need to add this localhost to chosen sites. I click save and everything is saved as you can see. Now, I think it should work because it's pretty easy to, to do everything. So if I go back to my homepage uh, of my site and if I go to log out and I click on login, uh, here I can test this login with Google. It okay, it doesn't work. So let's see why. Oh, I see. Uh, it might be here some issues. So open this. Yeah, this is wrong. It should be login callback. Callback and save it. Because it says that there is no such query and it doesn't exist. Okay, we saved it and we go back to my website. I hit refresh it, log in and try it again. It might need several minutes to, to confirm uh, my changes. So I go back here again for quiz, quick, quick, quick test. Google login callback. So I go back to my page again. It should work. So let's test. Okay, traffic lights. So everything is fine here. I can confirm that I'm a people, that I'm a real man, and I'll check it. Sites. Okay, it's localhost, localhost. Everything is fine. And social applications, Django tutorial. Oh, you can see for some reason it wasn't here. That might be the reason why it didn't work. So I check again if it's here, it's chosen sites. Okay, it should work. Okay, let's go back, log out, and let's go to my homepage. And I press login, login with Google. And as you can see, it works, and we can choose our account to log in. So let's do it. Let's try it, how it works. Cool. As you can see, it it works. It it everything's cool i can check my profile and etc and i'm a regular user and as you can see this is pretty easy we were able to sign up and that was really quick and exciting and it's out of the box so can you imagine how simple it is so that's why i'm not doing with this with github twitter or whatsoever third party integration so right now let's give it a go and Log out and let's go to my admin and let's give it a go to try whether what happens if I already have an account with uh, email. Let's see. And if I go here to, for example, social accounts, here is a, a new account created with UUID and etc. And if I open, there is many other stuff given to me. So, but I'm, I, I'll delete this now. Yes. Yes, the leaders. And if I go to my users, it also was created. So I'll remove it also. Password, okay. And yeah, we can delete this. Yes, I'm sure. And right now we don't have any use. So let's change the email of my test user to 
my original email. So my email is pythonlesson0 at gmail.com. Let's save it. Yeah, I'm a moderator. That's right. Let's double check if if it was changed and if it works. Yeah, my email is this one. Cool. Okay, uh, let's go back to my website and I click log out. And now let's go log in and try to log in with the same email. And as you can see, it, it doesn't understand, it doesn't allow me, but for some reason I can't see an error and I receive this kind of strange template. So my goal is here right now to, to change this to some different template so I will get a redirection and I'll understand that maybe I already have this email. So cool, I go back to my code here and we don't need these credentials anymore. I typed them, copied and everything is cool. And now I minimize all these parameters and I go back to my users and here is a uh, URLs and here I'll create a new URL to redirect it back when we enter this social sign up page. So it will redirect us to sign up redirect page. I, I click it save and now I go to my views because it's prompts me an error here. And here at the top I'll create this new function. So this is pretty simple function when we we get get a request to this page, we simply call a redirect to home page and notify user that something wrong is here. It might be that you already have an account because what did happen it. But in in reality it's pretty easy uh, to be to write uh, some kind of template to grab this email from this form and to check whether user has this email or we are in this page for some different reasons. So, so because I'm not sure so solving this problem there because I created this tutorial for sure to show you the basics and the concept how you can authenticate your users using this kind of technique with a third party authentication stuff. So right now I saved it, it works and let's go back to my social sign up. Let's click on this link and I should be redirected back to my homepage. That's right, let's try it again from zero. I click login with Google and how it works? It doesn't work, it redirects me back. And that's exactly what I wanted. And we can sign up right now with different stuff. So I'll go back to my test user, test user here, and I can log in and everything works as expected. I can't even update my articles or whatsoever, whatever I want. That's nice. While this particular tour only tests the authentication for Google, you can also integrate this authentication service as similarly using Django All Authentication. So I leave a refer link to the list of providers in my video description, but also I'll write everything step by step in my text version tutorial that the link also you can find in this video description. But for now, thank you all for watching. I hope this tutorial is useful for you and you're excited what I show you and you really like it. If so, please don't hesitate to smash this like button, share this video with your friends, comment if you have any questions or requests, and we'll see what I can do. So for now, all in all, I'm glad that I managed to figure out how to implement a social authentication in Django. It's much easier than I thought it would be and I hope this will be useful for future projects either for you and for me. And that's it for now. In the next tutorial I'll cover how to deploy Django to production server with all these features and to have it deployed and secured by with SSL. So thank you all for watching for now and we'll see you in our next tutorial. Bye.